in Canada, in, in Ottawa. Seventy years later, we want to kind of make a, a, a special a special gift to Canada on its 150th birthday. To be able to re-consecrate Canada as it was on that day to Our Lady. When we consecrate ourselves to Our Lady, we place ourselves in someone who only knows how to bring us closer to Christ. She keeps no one to herself. So when we consecrate ourselves to Mary, what we're actually doing is consecrating ourselves to Christ through Mary. Because through Mary, we receive a most powerful intercession. If Mary was able to bring into our world, within her own womb, the Son of God, the Savior of the world, if we only placed ourselves within her, her own womb, symbolically, and let her help us become Christ-like in our vocation, in our calling, through our baptism, we could as well do so much good in our world. This is why we consecrate ourselves to Christ through Mary, and we do likewise for nations, and we want to do this for our nation, for Canada. And so I would like to proceed immediately into a, a quick, a, a simple but profound rite of coronation where we recognize Our Lady as our Queen, the Queen of Heaven and the Mother of the Church. And so I'd like to invite Dennis and Angelina Girard to come forward with the crown that we, I will bless and then place on Our Lady. Blessed are you, Lord God of heaven and earth, for in your mercy and justice you cast down the mighty and exalt the lowly. Your marvelous wisdom is shown above all in the Word made flesh and in his virgin mother. For he, your Son, who freely humbled himself even unto death on the cross, now sits at your right hand and is radiant with unending glory, the King of kings the Lord of Lords. And she, the virgin who wished to be called your servant, was singled out to be the mother of the Redeemer and true mother of all the living. Now she is exalted above the choirs of angels and reigns in glory with her son, praying for us all, the Queen of Mercy, pleading for grace. The merciful Lord, look upon us, your servants, who by crowning this image of the, mother, of the mother of your son, and proclaim him as king of all creation and approach her as our queen. Give us the grace to follow them in serving you, to do what love demands for the sake of our brothers and sisters, to deny ourselves and spend ourselves so as to win our neighbors for you, to be lowly on earth so as to be exalted in heaven, where you, you reward your faithful servants with a crown of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So Mary, virgin forever, most worthy queen of the world, pray for our peace and salvation, for you are the mother of Christ, the Lord and Savior of all. Alleluia. Alleluia. Our Lady, which is uh, Notre Dame du Cap, Our Lady of the Cape, is a, a pilgrim statue of Our Lady who's been in many houses and many parishes. Um, she has a whole story that you need to look up. I won't spend time to explain it to you, but um, 
Our Lady, the shrine of Our Lady at Tuadiyar, Captain Madden, um, has been uh, prayed to and has uh, provided many miracles. And uh, I would invite you to look it up. Go to, to the web, your web, website to Our, Our Lady of the Cape, Notre Dame's Cap, and uh, look up the miracles that has been accomplished 